video will demonstrate how to set up and use the AED+. Upon reaching the patient, remove the lid of the AED Plus and turn it on. Follow the reminder pictures, audio and written prompts through each stage of the life support process. Stay calm. An LED light indicates which step you should be focusing on. Check responsiveness. Call for help. Call an ambulance. Open airway. Check breathing. If desired, the lid from the AED Plus can be placed under the patient's shoulders. This will help support and maintain an open airway. However, you should not use the lid as a support if you suspect that the patient has a spinal injury. If the patient is conscious or they are breathing normally, do not continue to use the AED Plus. If you are in doubt, however, Continue on and apply the electrodes to the patient. The defibrillation electrodes come in a sealed pack and should be pre-connected to the AED+. If they are not pre-connected, the AED+, will prompt you to plug in the electrodes. Plug in cable. Make sure that the electrode pads connected are appropriate for the victim. Adult pads are labelled CPR-D pads. For children under 8 years old or 55 pounds, Zoll's paediatric pads should be used. Attached to the electrodes pack is a first responder kit. This includes a razor, a small towel to dry the patient's skin and scissors for cutting clothing. A disposable face shield and gloves are also supplied for your protection. The electrodes need to be placed directly onto bare skin, so first remove all clothing covering the patient's chest. Tear open the electrode pack and unfold the electrode pads. The CPR D pads are a one-piece pad designed to be easy to place. Using the sensor's crosshairs to guide you, align the CPR landmark between the patient's nipples and the middle of their breastbone. Press the CPR landmark with your right hand and pull the number 2 tab to peel the protective backing from the electrode. Press the electrode from the centre out to make sure it adheres properly to the patient's skin. Repeat the action on the lower pad, marked with the number 3 tab. If the patient is large, you will need to tear away the lower pad at the perforated line and extend it before pulling the number 3 tab. The pad should be placed on the side chest wall in line with the left armpit. Instructions on the electrode pack remind you how to attach the electrodes to the patient. Once the pads are applied, the AED Plus will automatically analyse the patient. You should not touch the patient at this point and the AED Plus will remind you of this. Don't touch patient. Analyzing. The AED Plus will determine whether or not the patient can be treated using defibrillation. If they can, then the AED Plus will announce Shock advised. Don't it will then warn you patient. not to touch the patient and to press the flashing shock button. Press flashing shock button. Maintain a safe distance from the patient and ensure that neither you nor anyone else is touching the patient before you press the shock button. Shock delivered. The AED Plus will confirm that a shock has been delivered and then advise you to start performing CPR.